Welcome, everyone, to Family Comes First. I'm Vincent J. Russo. And I'm Victoria Roberts Drogan. Thank you for joining us. For years, the Girl Scouts has been an organization where girls can build courage, confidence, and character, and then go on to make the world a better place. Absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. And just because a girl may have special needs, it doesn't mean she can't be a part of the Girl Scouts. Yep. Today on Family Comes First, we are going to talk about how all girls can benefit from being a part of scouting. A legacy of inclusion, right here on Family Comes First. We are talking today about how girls with special needs can be a part of the Girl Scouts. Edith Heinsen is here, and she was inspired to start a troop in her area, uh, a Girl Scout troop where children like her daughter Linda with special needs could participate. This is going to be such a great show. Yeah. Uh, and also with us, of course, is Linda, mm -hmm. Edith's daughter, who's mm -hmm. part of that troop, mm -hmm. and my one of my favorite guests. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that. Uh, <laughs> Susan Russo of the Teresa Academy of Performing Arts and uh, for Children with Special Needs. And we'll talk about the tie-in there, which is really mm -hmm. fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell us about your two beautiful children. Um, both of my children have special needs. Linda's mm -hmm. 13 and Scott is 14. Mm -hmm. And um, what kinds of activities do you do with them? We do, of course, we do TAPA. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We have the respite <laughs> camp, and we do a lot of the activities, arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. We do bowling through the Nassau County PAL, mm -hmm. and they're in Camp Anchor now, and they also do bowling through Anchor. Wow. Mm -hmm. We do softball in the spring through Shining Stars yeah. in Levittown. Right. We're very busy. <laughs> I was just going to say. And Girl Scouts. Very busy. Can, can I be a part of your family? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. My parents didn't offer me all these things when I was little. It was yeah. just go play in this. Yeah, go play outside. Meet, <laughs> in the street in Brooklyn. Uh, and yeah. so, um, Linda, you're very busy. Mm -hmm. you're yes, very I am. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And who's your friend here? Annie. 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 Oh, yeah. she's beautiful. Yeah. She's been with you a long time, I understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does she, she do? Too. Yeah, I'm wonderful. Yeah. And does Annie do Girl Scouts with you, Linda? Does she keep you company? <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So, Linda. What what do you like the most about going to the Girl Scouts? You like having fun? Yes, having fun. Fun. Yeah, fun. With right. all your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. And what's, that's great. What's your favorite badge? Your favorite patch? Dance. I love dance. 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 Great. Okay. Yeah. And dance is part of the program at Tapa, Susan? Yes. Linda's a very good dancer. She also takes dance classes. Yes, and she she's does. a Yes. Part at a, oh, her dance studio, yeah. and she's a part of the um, <laughs> Banana Splits Club, which is an exclusive club within her dance oh, right. her Very dance nice. school where she attends. Yeah. The girls that um, the girls earned a dance badge with us. Oh, at, yeah, at talk Tapa. about how there's been this connection between you starting up the troop mm -hmm. and twenty four seventy seven. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? Yep. Yeah. And the services we're providing at Tapa. Right. We've known Edith and the kids for. Few years now. Many years. Yeah. They've mm -hmm. been to art classes mm -hmm. and drumming classes and they've attended Tappa Camp mm -hmm. for a long time, several Five years. Or six years. Yeah. Wow. Her and son yoga. Scott is an amazing yeah. African drummer. He is really, really good. That's his <laughs> That's favorite right. yeah. That's favorite right. part of Tappa Camp. And um, when Edith started the, the troupe with the girls, uh, they've earned three badges working three at Tappa, three or four badges. Mm -hmm. They've earned an art badge. A yoga, yoga badge, a dance ballet. badge, a ballet dance. badge, and I believe there's one other. There's more. A music, oh, wow. music, oh. music, we music did badge. Music, yes. Yeah. Oh, so there's a nice a support. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, yes. yes. and it's a great group of girls to work with. They're mm. they're lovely, lovely girls, all about the same age. Right? They're from 10 through 16. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So and, how um, how how'd you come up with the you know you weren't in the Girl Scouts? No. So, and and now you're a troop leader. So how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Linda was asking for a long time to be, become a Girl Scout. Oh, great. And I investigated. And um, although any girl can join any troop, right. it really wasn't appropriate for her. 
Mm -hmm. So I thought I would start my own, and I just gear towards the girls and their abilities. Wow, nice. that's fantastic. That's great. How big is the troop? I only have four girls, but oh, uh, yeah. we're very, very active. It's beautiful. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Makes yeah. it very special. There's yeah. a lot of attention. And, yeah. Yeah. They have so very many sweet. projects they work yeah. on, and it's, yeah. it's Well, I um, can see from this oh, yeah, beautiful let's, let's line. See definitely. Let's see it. If we can hold that up. Yeah. Let's hold that up for a minute and, and talk yeah. about There are a lot of badges on, on there. These are the, um, the badges that they work for. They've done... Um, First aid, cooking, baking. They we had a tea party. They did a social tea, nice. exercise. Um, it's we've done it over the years, yeah. and of course the cookie mm. sales. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a the, lot on, on the back on the too. Back. I think these are the patches. These oh, are just the, the patches. Oh, there the patches. Where's the yoga patch? Yeah. <laughs> there there it is. Because I understand you love yoga. Yeah, I see a you couple do. on there, right? Wow, wonderful. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. What, what are you going to do when you're out of space? <laughs> They, this is their junior vest. Uh, oh. Their junior vest that they just oh, okay. fridged up to cadets. So yeah. this is her new one. Oh, this is the fancy one. We start Look loading this. this one up. Yeah, wow. and I see there's stuff on there already. Get yeah. going. That Linda, is... what's your favorite pose in yoga? Downward dog. Down, Down downward dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> that and Shavasana. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Very that's, good. That's really wonderful. Now, Edith is also an incredible baker. Uh -huh. All right, and she has yes. baked. Uh, for the Teresa Academy to, as fundraisers oh, uh, oh, and uh, our Teresa Bowling event. I remember all those yeah. great. So yeah. talk, to us, talk to us about all the, the cakes year. and the cupcakes, oh, wow. Susan. And Edith has done, uh, helped us like with eating. some birth, yes. we do love eating, has helped us with some <laughs> special birthday cakes for camp as well. Oh, yeah, we've done gluten-free. Yeah. Gluten-free, yeah. We, oh, we did the dinosaur. Free, gluten -free. We did the dinosaur. dinosaur. Wow. And you did a yeah. mermaid. A mermaid. And, yeah, that's very, very, terrific. very nice. Also oh, for events and yeah. things like that. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we, we so love how involved you are mm -hmm. uh, with your children. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. And, uh, you know, you've, you've have a lot of courage and you're really inspirational to people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to to uh, step in as a mom and 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 make sure they're having the best life that they can. And they mm -hmm. they, they, they I wish yeah. I had all this joy, <laughs> yeah. all this fun. It's a lot of good stuff. Huh? What's yeah. nice about the troop yeah. is um, that the girls have become such fast friends. Mm -hmm. So it's another besides all of the work that they do as Girl Scouts and en enjoy all of these wonderful activities. They've made very close friendships. So who is your best friend in Girl Scouts? Jillian Dolan. <laughs> Jillian Dolan. Jillian Dolan. Yeah, so it's really. a great social oh, outfit, yeah, outlet sure. for the kids. Yeah. 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 They make fun. some lifelong friends. It's yeah. Community. It's really, really it's good. Wonderful. Yeah. That's terrific. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Linda, for coming and telling us all about this. Well, telling us about yoga us. and Girl yeah. Scouts and yeah. everything. That's wonderful. Yeah. And Susan for being on. Oh, uh, Susan welcome today. for Tapa, yeah, yeah and all that sure. you do. It's one of my yeah. favorite families. And then we're we're gonna we're gonna have Edith stay on after mm -hmm. we take our break. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna talk more mm -hmm. about yeah. your story, which we're thrilled that you're sharing. Uh -huh. And then we'll come back with uh, Kim Christian of That's your law right. firm yeah. uh, to talk about a legacy of inclusion. Right here on Family Comes First. Hi, I'm Todd Belisle, the president of the Center for Special Needs Trust Administration. Under current policy, individuals receiving certain means-tested public benefits have very strict income and asset limits. Our partnership with the Teresa Foundation Community Trust Programs helps individuals protect these valuable benefits by giving the individual or their representative the ability to create a trust for the benefit of a loved one. For additional information on how the Teresa Foundation Community Trust Program might help you or a loved one, please contact us today. Welcome back to Family Comes First. Let's continue with Edith's wonderful and inspiring story. Mm -hmm. And also joining us is Kim Christian, a special needs attorney in my law firm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to you both. Yeah, we're welcome. so glad yeah. to have you here. Glad to be here. We're thrilled. Yes. So uh, Edith, when we left off, we were talking about um, how you created uh, the scout troop for um, Linda and her friends so mm -hmm. that they could really enjoy some of the benefits of scouting. Now your background is mm -hmm. aligned with this effort. You have a background in special needs yeah. education? I am a special ed teacher. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you brought something unique to this. How, how do you help the girls to succeed in your troop? Oh, well, I take any activity and I, you know, break it down and make it easy for, for them to do. Yeah. But right. we do cover all the requirements just in a mm -hmm. different way for each of the badges. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. How, how did you get into the world of special needs uh, as an educator? 
Well, I had a sister many, many years ago oh. who I never met who was severely mentally retarded, and mm. I believe that I went that way because of her. Sure. So I went back to school when I was older, and I went straight through for my master's and became a special ed teacher. So yeah. she inspired you? She did. She did. Yeah. And my sister's name was Linda, too. Oh, so. oh there <laughs> you go. And, and in my family, uh, my daughter, uh, Lizzie, is mm -hmm. a special ed teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and... You know, Teresa, Teresa, and yeah. they were roommates, you know, oh, yes. growing up. Yeah. And, and so there's that connection. It's just Yeah, just and it, it is, does inspire you to want to yeah. give back and support that world, you know. Yeah. And she's adorable. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Yes, she is. So, Kim, a lot of issues when parents come to us and they have a child with special needs and we really need to kind of help them navigate what they need to do and and uh, what turns they may need to take in the future. Mm -hmm. Planning, so really. yeah, so Planning. let's hear your thoughts. Sure, there's a lot of important issues and topics to cover. Um, one mainly making sure you leave your estate plan in a way that protects your child with special needs. Um, so one recommendation, no matter what, would have to be to have a will mm -hmm. um, with a trust included in it that says, when I'm no longer here, my assets pass to this child in a protective way. Mm -hmm. So it goes in a trust, and then it's, those assets are managed for that child yes. and is used to enhance their quality of life. That's correct. And mm -hmm. will keep Medicaid and we'll keep Medicaid. possibly SSI if they're on SSI. SSI if they're mm -hmm. on SSI. What is SSI? So SSI is, is a benefit um, that you could get for your child with special needs um, and it, again helps with um, ensuring the quality of mm. life um, and you want to make sure that you protect the assets because it's a means tested program. Right. All right. So, so SSI would be a dollar amount, a monthly stipend mm -hmm. and typically at what age would a uh, child who's unable to work in the workforce uh, be able to access SSI? 18 years old okay. is okay. the age where you can access SSI. Mm. Okay. And Edith, you've uh, done all this planning, right? It's all done. Which okay. is fantastic. Yeah. And, and mm. what I want to hear from you is why that is important, because it's unbelievable in one way that we meet with families all the time and they have no planning. So, you know, wh what are the benefits? Well, I'm a single mom. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure if anything happened to me, everything would be covered, and I own the home. So I wanted to make sure it would all be taken care of, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and designated someone that you trust. Yes, that my can, friend. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, for example, guardian. Mm -hmm. so, so if you're at some point unable or not available to make those decisions on an ongoing basis for your daughter or your son, you've named a standby guardian. Right, correct. Mm -hmm. And what's great about what you've done is many families... Um, hesitate to do the planning because they don't have any family member that's available to step in and sometimes we'll get in discussions with our clients about the options there and you have a friend who's who's willing to step in and I didn't select any of my family members I selected my friend <laughs> <laughs> but you made a selection and that's why it's so important because okay. we don't want that to prevent a parent from going ahead and doing That's the right. documents, mm -hmm. right. you know, to put in place the plan. And what happens if you don't? I mean, uh, the consequences. Yeah. yeah. What if yeah. What yeah. if you neglect to do this planning or you just right. aren't up to it and sure. God forbid something happens? Sure. As I mentioned earlier, your goal is to do whatever you can to protect your child. Mm -hmm. And kudos to you because you're right. Not many people do it or, or mm -hmm. they put it aside for whatever reason they have. Um, so it's so important. To answer your question, if you if they do receive assets outright, there's a potential first to lose benefits such as Medicaid or SSI, mm -hmm. or not be eligible for those benefits when you otherwise would have been. Mm -hmm. And of course, from a guardianship standpoint, you want to put the person in place who you're going to entrust your child to, yeah. right? who so, knows their likes and mm -hmm. and wants and needs. Yeah. So yeah. what happens is chaos. Yeah. Yes. You know, if yeah. there's no plan in place, like eat it stuff, it's chaos. It's right. a crisis. And then the children suffer. And 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 right. That's that. That's yeah. the point Kim's making. Is yeah. yeah. That that now they may lose benefits. Who's uh, where are they living? Who's taking care of them? And also sometimes then family members have differing opinions, and then then they're all in court. And then it gets so expensive, it's Ter time consuming. You'd have mm -hmm. to bring a guardianship proceeding if That's there was correct. no guardian, right? 
Right. And how long would that take? Several months mm -hmm. uh, and very costly. Yeah. And the person that may ultimately become the guardian may not have been the person that you would have you selected in your documents. Yeah, okay. sometimes so, uh, a judge will punt because yeah. the judge will say, well, I've got uh, two family members uh, who are fighting with each other. How, just, how are we going to reconcile that? So we'll bring an independent person who's okay. now going to make personal decisions, health care yeah. decisions, finan right. financial decisions. You don't want that, no. right? You want to control as much as you can, right, the world right. Uh, that your daughter's living in, mm -hmm. which in is, son. you know, so hard, right? Because we don't always, you know, there's a higher being who, who, right. who kind of looks down at us and then kind of things yeah. happen. And so, and so um, you're, you've done the most uh, mm -hmm. that you could. Right. Um, so... <clears throat> SSI is Supplemental Security Income. Yes. All right. And so, and so that would be a monthly check. That's correct, yes. Right. And so can that just go to the person directly, or does it need to go into a trust? Well, you can put it in a trust um, yeah. to make sure that it's spent properly mm. um, and used so that it doesn't affect any benefits that the person is currently receiving. Mm. And, and to your point, you know, to enhance quality of life. That's right. what's important. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can you delineate specifically things about your children's lives? Like, like can you say these are the preferences? This is how mm -hmm. I want the money spent. This, these are the mm -hmm. activities I want. Yeah. I want them to continue to do bowling. I want Linda to stay. Yes. And you know, can you get that specific with sure. this vehicle? I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up. There's something called a memorandum of intent. Okay. And we recommend that to all our clients. And basically, it's a roadmap. It says, if I'm not here, these are the things that my children love, yeah. uh, from foods to activities, um, you know, to their favorite uh, Raggedy Ann doll mm -hmm. that they're holding. Yeah, it's I mean, so it's, it's so critical. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it's the human element that's so important. And mm -hmm. even though it's not a technically a legal document, right. it may be the most important document. Right. Well, right. And you can, uh, our viewers can download it at no cost off mm -hmm. our website. Uh, at bjrussolaw.com and a lot of families you know are well intentioned but they're so busy taking care of their child mm -hmm. and they're so anxious about all the things they need to take care of that it's hard for them to find the time yeah and so what we've learned uh, in our practice is we'll have the family member just come down and we'll record their answers and then we'll type them up yeah. into the memorandum for them and then we'd love for them on an annual basis to update it. Yeah, because that, yeah. that I, I imagine, you don't, you don't think about your life while you're living it. Mm. You know, to, so to recreate an environment for your child or yeah. your children, which probably is the thing that's going to touch them the most. Right. Because the money you take care of strategically, you do the proper planning legally, mm. um, but the actual experience of their day-to-day -day is what they're going to feel you know, at a time of, sure. of loss or transition mm. that's going to be tough enough as it is. So I would imagine that... Sure, the personal connection. Yeah, yeah. assisting mm. parents in actually yeah, debriefing sure. their days and capturing it and sort of, you know, deconstructing, oh, this is the morning, this is, you know, right. at every age is probably really important. Very important. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We, we try, uh, when we're meeting with our clients, not to give them homework. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know, I get because, that. Sure. because nobody the, likes to do it. <laughs> and it's, all, it's well, it's in, yeah. especially when you have so many responsibilities yeah, it's that overwhelming. you need to take care yeah. of. So we'll try to do as much as we can and okay. make our clients feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, most people don't have wills. Parents who have a child with special needs, I think there's even more of a compelling reason to make sure there's a will with a proper trust called a supplemental needs trust or special needs trust. Mm -hmm. I want to come back to the Girl Scouts yeah. um, a moment, and because uh, the organization has always been um, an inclusionary type organization, which is not true of certain other organizations through the years, and the Girl Scouts have been around a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been down to the original yeah. the house in Savannah, which is unbelievable, where they the, uh, they found it. They founded it. Yeah. it, and it's just an amazing. I don't know if you've yeah. had a chance to go down to Savannah. So when you brought this up, um, you know, was that that's something that they felt, uh, you know, in higher ups, uh, that that was a comfortable uh, situation for you to go ahead and do this? I did. I spoke to a few people, and they yeah. said, you know. 
the troop has to be available to any child that sure. does want to join. But right. they were very, very supportive. Ah, and I have great. a cadet now volunteering with me who is typical, and she's a great role model. That's so great. it's been wonderful. Wow. Yeah, so that's fantastic. And that's I know um, uh, we're going to talk more yeah. about the Girl Scouts mm -hmm. as a national organization, worldwide Absolutely. organization. And I, and I just love the cookies, so yeah. uh, you know, I, I thought maybe, yeah, we'll see, we'll yeah. see. Uh, and so um, it, it's been fantastic. A lot of great insights on the planning, Kim. Uh, really appreciate your being here. Cool. And My Edith, you, you, you've been terrific. Thank and you. and, uh, and I know you continue to be terrific. And thanks for baking all those goods uh, well, that no. we're able to <laughs> raffle off and sell as fundraisers. Because yeah. uh, we all, these small organizations, uh, need all the support they can get. So thank you so much you for being on. My pleasure. Thank you. Family Comes First. So let's take a break. Victoria, the Girl Scouts have been a part of American culture for over 100 years mm -hmm. with the message that girls can be successful. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's such a special organization. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was a brownie, and All both right. of my girls were Girl Scouts. Well, I was a Cub Scout. Okay. <laughs> all but, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there are troops all over the country. Um, and today we're so fortunate to have with us Donna Saravala. Nicely uh, done. <laughs> yes, CEO, um, Chief Executive Officer for Girl Scouts of Nassau County, and also Father Tony uh, to offer his reflections on this wonderful topic. Yeah. Okay, so we so. want to know about the Girl Scouts. Yeah. Well, we are the Girl Scouts. We are a very large and long-standing organization. We're in our 103rd year in Nassau County. We have just under 20,000 Girl Scouts, and we're able wow. to do that because we have the support of 7,000 adult volunteers. Yeah. And it is a volunteer. This mm -hmm. is, it is people a volunteer who are organization. Jumping in, and it, there's Absolutely. so much time. There was so, I, you know, I know from my girls, the, the generosity of the troop leaders, so oh. much time and energy. The troop leaders, yeah. without them, I would not have the best job in the world. And so yeah. I thank every single one of you out there. <laughs> thank you for being Girl Scout volunteers. Yeah, yeah and Edith, um, you Edith know. is one of our very special stars. Mm. She has really... Um, stepped up when sometimes other people have not been able to do what she's done and we're very very grateful for her leadership mm -hmm. in uh, establishing a special regular after-school yeah. troop for mm -hmm. girls oh, that's how, great how yeah. wonderful are there any others or yes there are oh. six other specific special mm. needs troops okay. in Tell Nassau us. County. Tell us. <laughs> there are two at Bosey's school okay. Okay. and there is one at the Henry Viscardi school, sure. there's one at Little Village and there's one at UCP uh, here in Nassau County. Great, and great organizations. Yes. Those are all yeah. flagship organizations mm. in what they mm -hmm. do and all of them have Girl Scout troops within their program either during the school day or after yeah, school. After. That's okay. great. Yeah. That is wonderful. Father, this has been such a wonderful show, so yeah. hopeful and inspirational. Truly, absolutely. Especially I love that theme of inclusion. Mm -hmm. And I never thought of that theme with regard to the, the Girl Scouts, but specifically that all are welcome. Yeah. All are welcome. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about the words of Jesus when Jesus said, let the children come to me yeah. mm -hmm. and do not hinder them. For it is to just such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. And I think about how maybe sometimes adults hinder children because they feel they're not capable, they're not ready, or they're not able to do whatever they think that children should be doing or could be doing. And that inclusion of Jesus, let them come to me. Don't hinder them. It is to just such as these that the kingdom of God does belong. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes parents worry about yeah. what other people think, you know? Yeah, or they and worry. Then, and or it they, limits them. Yeah, or they worry that they can't that they're, they're not enough to handle it or take mm. it on. You know, so you have someone like Edith who says, I'm, I'm just going to do it, right. mm. you know, and does it. And I think, you know, mm. I, I know my own, I have to give her a shout out because she, my daughter's troop leader, Debbie O'Gorman, um, okay. gave such a special experience, you know, to my daughter that, mm. it, you know, whether you think you can or you can't, try it, do it, yeah. you know, because what you give is uh, more than what doesn't exist if you don't try and you don't do well, it. Well, if you look at the statistics, yeah. about 
four to five percent of girls in Nassau County have some degree yeah. of disability at some level or mm -hmm. another. We have 96 girls in the six troops that I told you about and in Edith's wow. troops included Amazing. there. But we have hundreds yes. and hundreds of girls with special needs that are part of regular troops. That's and wonderful. we have um, we have many leaders who either take the girls on their waiting list with mm -hmm. no questions asked, and we have some leaders who go that extra mile and who know mm -hmm. a child that needs to be included, as sure. Father That's said. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. It's yeah. been wonderful to have you um, give the broader perspective of the Girl Scouts and mm -hmm. Edith sharing her story and mm -hmm. Father Tony and your remarks with just the inclusion. I mean, it's all about inclusion. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this yeah, has been and also Kim about planning from, from your office, yeah, because that's so important too. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, for more information on the Girl Scouts, you can certainly visit their website at girlscouts.org. Absolutely, and Let's also, support them. Yes, absolutely. That's right. um, and also on uh, your uh, law firm website, mm -hmm. Vincent, yes. which is vjrussolaw.com. There's a lot of information on special needs planning for your children, and also all of the resources from Family Comes mm -hmm. First are on the website. Yeah. My personal commitment is to continue to buy cookies and eat most them. Most definitely, and eat them. <laughs> most definitely. Tagalongs, tagalongs, and thin mints. All right. My Thanks to all uh, our viewers for joining us, and remember, family truly does come first. Thank you.